Hello, people. My name is Rage, and welcome, one and all, uh, to a uh, tavern brawl of the the next the next one. That imagine if movies did that. Welcome to movie name two, the the next one. Are you pumped yet? No movie voice. No, I'm not. Either way, the main question we want answered today is: Is Blizzard going to mess up and accidentally put the wrong brawl on? God, that was ridiculous. Either way, again, either way, I'm really good at saying either. I'm just gonna stop and click the button before you all leave. What have we got today? Is that a murloc? It's kind of a murloc, the masked ball. At the SI7, ma I'm excited about this. At the SI7 mansion in Stormwind, I can create a deck as well. They have a grand masked ball every year. Everyone is in disguise. When a minion dies, its disguise is revealed, showing the minion to actually be a different minion that costs two less and ready for another fight? Nice! That's not bad at all! Find me my first victim, spinny wheel! Hey, see, listen to me. Me and the spinny wheel, we have a connection. A deep bond whereby I know and he knows what each other wants and we got this going on. Wow, both piloted sky golems. I mean, that's not bad. It's really, really not bad, but at the same time, I really should go for a lower cost opening hand. Half stone. Are you okay there? Did you get out of bed on the wrong side? Do you have an eight-sided bed? Imagine an eight-sided bed. Welcome to the Octo Bed. Would you care to join me? You have many options in doing so. Come over here. And let me octo you! I don't really know where I'm going with this. Oh yeah, so look, mystery pilot. There is a pilot in the armor smith. You know, that has got very, very weird connotations. And I'm not entirely sure I'm going to continue thinking about that. So there's going to be a piloted shredder with who's the mystery pilot in the piloted shredder. While well, there's a piloted shredder in the piloted shredder, so you can pilot a shredder while you pilot a shredder. That is wonderful. All right, well, at least I now have a turn three play of raffing away the armor smith. That is uh, good. Boom, boom, boom. So this should, in theory, then be a whisperer target dummy. If I am to understand the brawl correctly. And yes, indeed it is. So, okay, I'm liking this. Our hand then is very beautifully symmetrical, actually. That makes me really happy. That is just, that is nice. That is a good hand. I don't actually want to draw any more cards. That would be a massive shame. Oh, no. My hand's ruined forever. Okay, so we got the Shredder then. Who could it be? I'm excited because playing the minions that double up on the value seems like a fantastic idea here. It really does. And he's just going to get another Wisp or a target dummy. I really don't think playing two or less cost minions is worth it in this brawl. And he is just going to ignore my Shredder. So maybe he's just going for a straight up rushdown type feel. Although then he didn't actually... He didn't he... He didn't he didn't he... Attack me in the face. So maybe he's not. Maybe he's not. Who knows? Either way, I'm going to give each player a mana crystal and it's going to be wondrous because that means next turn I can drop the thing. It would be cool. Ah, oh, you know what they should have done? I think they missed a trick in this brawl. They should have made it so every time the thing that respawns when something dies, dies, it also respawns. And the only way you can stop a minion chain respawning is to kill its zero mana form. How neat would that be? So a 10 drop to an 8, to a 6, to a 4, to a 2, to a wisp, you kill it, it's gone. I mean, it would be a little bit ridiculous, but I could see that being just... <laughs> Endless minion fighting! Oh, that's not good. Actually, it's not that bad, because my... Oh, no, now it's bad again. Actually, no, it's not, because that's not attacking and I got swipes. We're fine. Here we go! Time for my theory! Mech Whopper and Knife Juggler. Lovely. See, that right there is where it's at. Unfortunately, the thing that pops out the Shredder doesn't actually have a... Affected by the Brawl, but that's okay. Obviously, he's going to just quickly take out the Knife Juggler. That makes sense. Now, if I was playing Mech Druid, this would be a pretty solid pickup here. That is all I'm saying. So we are in Swipe City here. I mean, this is just glorious. 
So I think I do want to trade into that first, just in case. So let's see what comes out of there. Hopefully it is indeed a wisp. It is a wisp. All right, what's going to happen? Vom, that's going to be a two drop. That's going to be a one drop, both of which should be very tradable. Indeed they are. And lovely, board control. And that became an egg, which is going to become an Arubian. So this is a very sort of minion spammy brawl. And honestly, it's quite neat. I'm liking it. It's. I think this is a little bit better in terms of back and forth interesting gameplay than the spells become minions brawl. So I'm happy with this. No, my poor wet we wet marker, wet marker. My English today is so strong. It's just so strong. Oh good, another frothing berserker. That's absolutely brilliant. I am so happy. Please give me something good. Although it's gonna be one mana, so I know it's gonna be that good. Yeah, just a generic 2-1. Though actually, both of these can kill the Throffing, so assuming everything goes fine, we should be completely okay there. Alright, so the question is... Ooh, Dr. Boom! Well, you know, obviously the correct answer to any situation whereby you can play Dr. Boom is, of course, to play Dr. Boom. Oh, I really wanted the boom bots to also have the pilot. He got a wargun, so that's absolutely fine. That's no threat at all. I mean, at most, it kills a boom bot. whoop de doo I guess it could injure Dr. Boom for the execute. Then we get a five drop, and that's brilliant. Seven and above is the sweet spot for this brawl, because five drops are really, really good. Getting belchers, getting drakes, getting uh, all sorts of things. Mainly belchers, I'll be real with you. And... Really? That is one of the worst you could physically get. I mean, at least he has no way of dealing with it, so it's kind of okay, but damn. <sighs> at least, I guess, actually, yeah, we do get to play Milan and draw, so, you know, it does strengthen that play for me, but for real, that is just ridiculous. <laughs> I guess, thinking about it, that's hilarious that I managed to pull off a Starving Buzzard combo in freaking Druid. That's just how next level I am. So the neat thing about this brawl, then, is inherently it's going to be quite lengthy endurance games, just because you have so much minionage working all the time. Okay, that's fair enough. He's going to get a two-drop out of that. Spawn spin to Spog. Spawn spin to Spog. Apparently, words that are very similar, I'm just not capable of doing. So, hopefully then, this is going to go back in my deck. Ah, it doesn't work like that. It cancels itself out. So, Milan's actually terrible. I really thought I'd get a 5-drop as well as it going back to my deck, but it hasn't. That might be a real, genuine problem there. Okay, so the thing to do here is simply silence this egg before these boom bots do horrible, horrible things. We'll see what these boom bots actually end up doing. Uh, and boom, yep, there we go. In fact, actually, I don't want to do that. I'll just whack down Lotheb to prevent any shenanigans. And yes, actually, Kel'Thuzad and Baron Rivendare. Does Baron Rivendare? Because they count as death rattles, don't they? Oh, that's a nice little suggestion. All right, we'll replace Milan and one of the card for Baron Rivendare and Kel'Thuzad. That makes a lot of sense. It really, really does. Uh, you choose death all you want, Alexnos. You choose death all you want, my friend. Uh, yes, sorry. Okay, so let's get rid of Milan. There we go. And then add ourselves in some Kel Three King Zad. There you go. And then Baron Rivendell, what shall I replace for you? I think we will go with. Uh, let's get rid of. Actually, I probably want to get rid of a higher drop. So, Scenarius, I guess, is the least useful right now in what I'm trying to do with this deck. So, that will do. That will definitely do. All right. Who are we going to get? A worthy opponent indeed. I am so surprised by this. And yes, a fellow druid. I imagine druid will be popular in this because innovating out something ridiculous on turn one is just going to be bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Bye, you three. Give me an innovate. Give me an innovate. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Turn one. Piloted Shredder. That's how it's done. Massive board impact. Massive value. Here on sale. Only at Druids R Us. Boom. 
boom, and boom. I mean, that's a fairly solid one drop, honestly. I think a 4-3 that becomes two random two-mana drops for your turn one play. And, you know, it's a, it's a fairly decent opening gambit, a, a solid one. Uh, one would call it fairly competitive in the in the realm of Hearthstone. I don't know why I'm going decidedly posh for this. It's it's just something I felt would be nice and necessary. It's too bad I didn't draw Wild Growth there. That would have been absolutely obscene to get that on curve after a Shredder opening play. So the question is, does he have a Wrath? In fact, do you even want to Wrath this? Because it's likely I'm going to end up with more attack on the board than just the Shredder. The Scarlet Crusader. Interesting. That is very, very interesting. Hey, I do actually get Wild Growth, so that is lovely. We can probably play Thorison, because Thorison's great, because it reduces the cost of your cards, but it doesn't reduce them as far as the board is concerned. So I uh, do actually get some massive value of that. I am excited. I mean, that's kind of unlucky to get a Mana Wraith there. It's also lucky he had to innovate for that Belcher. We can do some... Uh, actually, yeah, this is fairly good to get both Wraths here. Not only can we draw off that one, we can do free damage to this one and get... Ooh, I'm tempted to do it again, but no, I need to get rid of this. And for now, I'm going to use the Alchemist simply because I... Not going to play any of these, and he'll probably remove this for me next turn, and it might give him a little bit of pause. So there we go. Looking fairly decent, mainly just because I have such a wonderful curve. Six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, what more could you ask for? Goodbye, Mana Wraith. I'll see you later. And yes, another wild grow from him, but a little bit too late. A little bit too late indeed. In fact, Kel'Thuzad is probably going to be the turn after Thorison, just because uh, if he doesn't kill Thorison, I mean, he probably should with those two, so maybe I could play something better here. In fact, I actually can. The Shredder is a superior choice just because of the mad value. This is nice, but it doesn't really do much for me because I still have a good turn 7 play without playing it. So I think, I think it makes strategic, logical sense to whack that down. And yes, the Sky Golem there, a expected thing. And what are we going to get? Uh, boom. Boom. Uh, interesting. Very, very interesting. And my own Sky Golem there. That is... Uh, Fairly nice. Let us uh, get ourselves some mad taunt action going on and then continue. So the battle cry is actually going to be very useful because it stops a druid of the druid. Druid of the druid? Yes, I know what I'm talking about. You know, the classic druid of the druid. Freaking Keeper of the Grove from silencing this because it would need six mana to do it, which is quite excessive. Okay. So my question is... Does silencing, does silencing get rid of both death rattles? It does. That's quite something then. That's quite the big deal. So for now, we're going to trade all this away. So I start getting really a junk bot of all things a junk bot. That really, really sucks. And he's going to get a 6 mana drop. And of course he gets a nice 6-6 six, six out of his. That is lame. That is very, very lame. Oh man, that is not good. That is so not good. I mean, it's nice to know silence really counters it. Oh god, Dr. Boom. Oh no. I mean, it's just, just terrible. Everything is just going horrible. There's nothing nothing I can do anymore. The world is ending. It's over. We're done. We're finished. We're just finished. <laughs> Please hit me in the face. Yay! You hit me in the face. I'm so happy. I can at least kill the Zad, hit that, get that back. It revives or something else, revives itself, and, you know, it's a fairly tricky board to get rid of. Not by much, but it's at least something. And... What do I get? A Defias Ringleader. Wonderful! Absolutely wonderful. Oh, it doesn't come back with the revive factor, though, which is uh, kind of a shame. But then again, I didn't really expect it to. Damn! I mean, in theory, now that he's done that, he could well and truly just ignore it and uh, kill my face. Like, there's really no reason not to. Though that is a pretty perfect trade for him. And a force tank max! Wonderful! I have a feeling 
you know, I'll be real with you here. I have a feeling I am going to lose this game. Now, I can't imagine why I have this feeling. You know, it's definitely a weird, weird feeling to have. Okay, let's do that. And basically, I just need to hope that it, like, kills the 6-4. I mean, that's really what I got here. Come on, kill the 6-4. Boom. That's face. That's, uh, that's face. That's, that's a face hit right there. That's, you know... Ragnaros, it would have literally been more useful for you to hit anything else on the board. Granted, I still would have lost with a few hits, like the Force Tank Max, but at least then, at least then, Ragnaros, I would have felt that you tried. I would have felt that you'd, you know, at least attempted to help me out of that situation. But no, but no, you, you just do that. That's, that's fine. That is fine. I mean, what, what, I don't mind. I don't mind whatever. That junk bot was majorly unlucky, though. There are so many better five drops I could get than something with one attack. One Ah, <sighs> alright, Ancient of Lord, off you go for now. We got Wild Growth, which is- Oh my god, that is what I like to see! That is excellent. If only I had the coin. If only I had the coin. Hey, turn three Shredder is also fine. Let me use the other Wild Growth a little bit later on. We have a lot of potential here. I'm surprised to see as many Warriors. They don't have that many good things for this because they struggle at dealing with sticky death rattles as it is. But I guess we will find out. For now, Wild Growth, you can be a free-free all you want, my friend. I really, really don't care. Granted, it does let him trade with the Shredder, but that's fine, because you just get so much value out of Shredder when it dies in this brawl. It is a weird mass brawl to imagine, though. Actual lumber-fiery harvesting Shredders are just casually milling about the place with masks on. Like, I ah, can you tell who I am? I am, no, I'm not a Shredder. What, how would you tell? I can see most of your, like, mechanized body. What, no! And then because there's now two people in the Shredder, they're just having a party in there. They're just enjoying themselves. I mean, that's fair enough, honestly. That is fair enough. Surprise he didn't attack me there. I can now kill this for free. Ooh. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. This gets me some very, very nice early uh, advantage on board. That is absolutely wonderful. Keeper of the Grove is just MVP in this brawl. Ain't that right, Rubis Hunter? Rubis Hunter. I feel bad for anyone called Rubis. I mean, mainly because they're called Rubis, but also because they're being hunted by this dude. I mean, that's that's got to be lame. That really, it just has to be lame. Okay, I think a turn 6 Ragnaros is a fairly solid play there. We'll kill that, see what we get. Nat, Pagel, and a Brewmaster. And then we can immediately get rid of the 1-drop. Although he did get, like, honestly one of the best 1-drops to get. Now you hit a minion, Ragnaros, do you? Now you hit a minion. And he actually got Haunted Creeper. So there was a massive amount of spiders inside that yeti. That is disgusting. That yeti was being eaten alive by spiders. Oh. God, that is that is just tragic. Oh, Paul Ragnaros, there you go. But we do get a six drop, and it is a frost elemental. It's okay, I guess. Five five. I've never seen a golden one though, so that's really neat. I like that. And there, of course, the shredder. So are we gonna get an extra draw? We are not gonna get an extra draw. That is just very very sad. It really, really is. Boom, off you go. Let's see what you pull out. And two very, very normal two drops. That is a-okay. We actually get a Robocub. I mean, I feel like board control is very important when you're doing this brawl. I feel like it's something you kind of need to have. So that's why, I'm, that's why I'm trading over just going face. I mean, granted, both of these can kill my Robocub, which does kind of suck. But at the same time... Uh, a strangle from behind noise. You know, this is a strangle from behind noise. These two! Wow, it hit the... If he could choose which two targets that hit, he would have chosen those two targets. Esports, ladies and gentlemen. Esports. God, I love a bit of esports. In fact, I just realized we can get charge cards out of these, which makes it quite ridiculous. And we may as well just cycle a... Raph, while we're here, I just need more cards in my hand. 
get some face damage in and we are doing fairly well right now we are doing very very well this i'm just gonna save for a free draw now at turn 10 i don't really need to use it so that's okay and all of that being cheap is just wondrous i can empty my hand next turn boulder fist ogre a eh? boulder fist ogre Okay, this is probably not sensible completely, but it kind of makes sense. I mean, it kills that and just that enough for that to kill it. We get a 4-3, and there we go. Wow! That is absolutely ridiculous! We got to see some good orc on orc action. That is just lovely. We'll put it in bear form for now. There's no real reason not to unless he's running the Black Knight, but I highly doubt he would be. So I think, oh, do these not get the rattle? They don't! That's interesting, because the uh, tree got it, so why does the druid of the claw not get it? That's a very weird interaction with the brawl. I can only think that must be a bug, simply because the Agent of War was not affected by it. Wow, that is very perfect for him. That is, that is a lovely value charge there, and the one-eyed cheat, that is not bad. And then the inner rage removing him. Wow, that is, that is something. That is certainly something. I could draw the claw charge into it, but that seems like a massive waste. Innovate's not really what I want right now. You know what? Let's refuel our hands. I will do that for you. And then there's really no reason not just to draw two cards there, draw two cards there, draw two cards there. All of the drawing cards! All of them! And then we actually have a reason to use this Innovate, which is to get rid of the cheat, and then five more face damage. So I think we just refueled pretty nicely, as well as having a redonkulous board. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling pretty confident here. If I somehow lose this, I'll be really quite upset. I have been at 10 mana for ages, and he's not even there yet. That is just lovely. Ah, oh, the great outdoors. In fact, Thorison's been alive for so long. He needs a brawl here, but even then, brawl's terrible in this. Oh my god, I'm getting patroned. Okay, alright, we're okay. I nearly had a heart attack, but we're all alright. That was very scary, but we managed to make, f make it through. We really managed to make it through. Okay, so the question is... Do I have lethal? I'm not far off, but I unfortunately... Actually, no, I think I do have lethal. I think for once I'm not going to miss lethal. Is that not exciting? Unless this pops out with another taunt. In which case, that kind of sucks. It actually... It actually did. That's, um... That's a little bit lame there. I'll admit it. That's, uh... That's really, really quite lame. That would have been exact lethal... And I'm a little bit upset by that. I am definitely a little bit upset by that. I'm going to play that in Taunt, just to prevent myself getting a Garrosh for some reason. Because I just feel like I'm going to get 12 charges to the face and somehow lose this game. So, I'm going to play on the safe side of things. I think that is definitely reasonable. Though he does... Hey, there we go. Oh, lovely. I am the glorious victor. All shall tremble before me. So what a lovely little brawl then. How neat is that? Let's see what our pack doth hold. See what we acquire. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And it's a very, very normal, terrible pack. Wonderful! My name has been Rage. Remember, like, if you've enjoyed this, let me know what you think of the brawl and subscribe for more. Oh, goodbye. You've been